Hey, I'm Marie. Welcome to Marie's Kitchen. I am so excited to partner with HEB to help y'all start the new year off right with some budget-friendly meals that the whole family can enjoy. Today, we're making two of our family's favorite meals, meatballs marinara and crock-pot turkey chili. Both of these dinners are so easy to throw together and easy on the wallet as well. Let's get started. Okay, meatballs marinara. To start, we'll need one quarter cup panko, two tablespoons milk, one egg, and we'll give that a stir. Next is one half cup grated Parmesan cheese, then one half teaspoon garlic powder, and one half teaspoon salt. And finally, some black pepper. Then we'll give that a stir. Next, we'll add the ground beef. And then you'll just mix that together with your hands. Okay, once that's mixed together, now we are ready to make the meatballs. Most recipes for meatballs require you to brown the meatballs on the stove in a fry pan, and that can be kind of a hassle and also make kind of a mess. What I love about this recipe is that we're gonna brown the meatballs in this baking dish and then pour the marinara sauce over them and bake them and serve them in this dish as well. So we'll just use our hands to make the meatballs. You can make anywhere from 12 to 20, depending how big you like them. It's really up to you. Okay, these are ready to go in the oven. We're gonna set the oven to broil and broil these for about six minutes. Take them out, flip them, and broil again for six more minutes. And while that's cooking, I wanna show you how to make the cheesy garlic pull-apart bread. For the cheesy garlic pull-apart bread, you'll need one large loaf of artisan bread. It can be sourdough or just a basic white bread. Then you'll need a serrated knife, and what we're gonna do is cut slices through the bread, but the trick is you don't wanna go all the way to the bottom. You want it to still stay connected at the bottom. So we're just cutting these slices, but not all the way through. Another slice, but not all the way through, and you just go all the way down the loaf like that. Then when that's done, we'll turn the loaf sideways and do the same thing the other direction. Again, not going all the way through the bottom. You wanna make sure it all stays connected. And now we're gonna place it in an HEB square baker. Next, you'll need one stick of melted butter, and I know that sounds like a lot, but this is a big loaf of bread and can serve up to six people. So one stick of melted butter and we're gonna add one or two cloves minced garlic to the butter. Give that a stir. And then what we're gonna do is pour the melted garlic butter mixture into all these little crevices all over the bread. So each little piece of bread gets some melted garlic butter on it. You wanna pour all over in all the crevices some on top, you can even pour some around the sides. Just get all that garlic butter right inside the bread. Okay, next you'll need one cup shredded mozzarella cheese and we're gonna put that in all these little crevices as well. So you just drizzle the cheese down in there, sprinkle that in, getting some in between each little piece if you can. And when that's done, we're gonna garnish with some chopped parsley. So we'll just sprinkle that over the top doesn't that look gorgeous? You have cheese and garlic and butter and parsley. Yum. So now we'll put this in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 and bake. Okay, the meatballs are done for the first six minutes. You can see they've gotten a little bit browned on top. Now we're just gonna flip the meatballs over and brown the other side. Okay, now we'll pop this back in the oven for six more minutes. 
All right, the meatballs are done. Wasn't that so easy? They're nice and browned on top. They're not all the way cooked through, but now we're gonna bake them for about 20 minutes at 350. So first we'll pour the sauce on and you just can grab a jar of your favorite marinara and we'll pour that just right over the meatballs and then that goes in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, the meatballs are done and so is the garlic pull apart bread. Everything looks so good and the house smells incredible. We're just gonna garnish with some fresh basil and maybe a little extra Parmesan cheese. And this is ready to serve. Okay, now it's time to make turkey chili and we're gonna make this one in the crock pot. Two time saving tips for the turkey chili. One is I love to cook the turkey, onions, and garlic ahead of time in a fry pan and then store them in one of these locking containers in the refrigerator. Then when it's time to make the chili, it's so easy to just open up the turkey and throw that right into the crock pot. Another thing I like to do ahead is mix the spices. In this we have chili powder, cumin, oregano, and some brown sugar. I love to mix this up ahead of time and then again when it's time to make the chili, you don't have to get out all your spices and your measuring spoons. You just have the spice mix ready to go and pour that right in. To make the turkey chili, we're just gonna put our turkey, onions, and garlic into the crock pot. Next, we'll add three tablespoons tomato paste. Next, we'll add one cup beef broth. And we'll give that all a stir to mix the tomato paste in. Now we're gonna add one can of pinto beans and I do have those drained and rinsed. Next is one can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. So easy, just pour those in. And now onto the spices. I do have the spices pre-mixed here. This is one tablespoon chili powder, one quarter teaspoon cumin, and one half teaspoon oregano, and then one tablespoon brown sugar. This spice mix is wonderful for the whole family. It's not really spicy, but it still has that wonderful chili flavor. So we'll just add our spice mix, which I've done ahead of time, making it so easy. Then we'll add one half tablespoon Worcestershire sauce, and one tablespoon white balsamic vinegar. Now we'll give that a stir. And I'm gonna add a little bit of extra salt and pepper. You don't need to add a lot because we did use the full sodium beans, beef broth, and tomatoes. If you use low sodium of any of those, then you can add more salt. Then we'll add some black pepper. Give that a stir. And that is done. Now we'll put the top on, turn the crock pot to high, lock the lid in place, and cook that for four hours. Now with the chili cooking in the crock pot, we're gonna make the cornbread. To start, you'll need one cup flour, one cup cornmeal, one third cup sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon salt. We'll just mix up the dry ingredients. To the dry ingredients, we'll add one cup milk, one quarter cup melted butter, and one large egg. Now we'll mix the wet and dry ingredients together until well combined. For the pan, we're gonna use a kitchen and table square baker. You'll need to grease that with butter. Then we'll add our cornbread batter right to the pan. Spread that out a bit. And then that is ready to go in the oven, 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, the turkey chili is ready. We can serve that up with some cheese and some Fritos with cornbread on the side. It is so good and so satisfying for a quick and easy dinner. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we made two budget-friendly meals that the whole family can enjoy. First, we made meatballs marinara, garnished with Parmesan and basil, and served with a cheesy garlic pull-apart bread. Next, crock pot turkey chili, and some easy cornbread on the side. I really hope you get to try these. If you do, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Also, let us know what is your favorite budget-friendly meal. We are always looking for ideas and inspiration. 
If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and the bell button for notifications because we've got lots more videos coming up with easy recipes just like this from HEB.